Since 2005, Ontario has been leading the way when it comes to improving accessibility of people with disabilities. The Accessibility for Ontarians with Disabilities Act, otherwise known as the AODA, is a law that applies to all levels of government, nonprofits, and private sector businesses in Ontario that have one or more employees. This includes full time, part time, seasonal, and contract employees with the aim of identifying, removing, and preventing barriers for people with disabilities. AODA consists of five standards and requires that all organizations meet with deadlines specific to an organization's type and size. One of these standards includes the Accessibility Standard for Employment, which helps organizations create opportunities to support and keep more skilled employees. Electricity Human Resources Canada is a national organization whose mandate is to provide workforce planning support to the Canadian electricity industry. Our mission is to help the industry ensure that it has a current and future workforce that is highly effective, productive, safe and diverse. The Diversity to Inclusion project will see Electricity Human Resources Canada focus on improving equity of access and support to people with disabilities who work or who wish to work in the Canadian electricity industry. Burlington Hydro services a diverse customer base and it would only make sense that uh, we would hire a diverse workforce which would include those with disabilities. What organizations may not understand is they may have individuals that are already employed that may have a disability. You just might not know it. By ignoring that, you could be very damaging in terms of the individual and also the whole company's culture. We're working hard every day to make sure that our employees have a healthy, safe work environment. This includes identifying, eliminating and preventing barriers for people with disabilities. We accomplish this by working with different lines of business on individual and group accommodation plans or strategies. And some of those plans include things like ergonomic workstations or desk configurations, chairs. We interface with our IT department to coordinate alternate technologies. We also work with our health services department on implementing return to work strategy plans or other needs that are required for that employee. The AID Network or Accessibility, Inclusivity and Disability Network is a support group and advocacy group for people with disabilities at Hydro One. I founded the community because I had the misfortune of a brain tumor in 2004. When I returned, I thought there's got to be a way of helping other employees who face disabilities to make their life easier. And we've had wonderful support. And so here's a chance for us to be proactive and try and see what's on the radar, but also to react to employees who face hardships and maybe didn't get support in the local work location. We have an aging workforce here at Hydro One and we also have very physical demands on our employees. So there was a real need to have a support network. We're able to look at it from a big picture and having members who, who do have some disabilities really helps because their perspective is invaluable. I think it's important to have a forum like this because as a person with a disability, it just gives you that feeling that you're welcome there. At Burlington Hydro we have individuals that have physical disabilities. We hired this individual over 10 years ago. He's committed. He has been one of our top performers in the organization. So our experience uh, at uh, Burlington Hydro has been positive when it comes to employing those with a disability. There are over two million people in Canada today that have a disability, be that physical, mental, or intellectual. We see that it's really important to ensure that when you are in that industry, you are working in a welcoming environment, one that values diversity and inclusion and will value you for what you bring to the job. This to me presents a wonderful opportunities for our employers to consider how their organizations can benefit through the development of a culture that is inclusive. To learn more about EHRC and the valuable information, tools and resources we have developed, 
to support accessibility in the workplace, please visit electricityhr.ca.